and we're back and this time I'm going to show you how to create a wedding collage in Adobe Photoshop. Quite simple, we've got a couple of photos here in a folder called photos and a white background. So this is the starting point. At first you want to know what's the size of your background if you haven't typed it in manually. So go to image, canvas size, I'll change it to pixels and you can see it's 90, 20 times 1080. So you can play around with these values and create four rectangles or you can just use the ruler Control R and they will be blended in. And then drag these guidelines from left to right and top to bottom and at a certain point, the mid position, it will snap. You can see that here, it just snaps in the center position. With Control H you can blend them in or blend them out. And now I use the marquee tool and I drag our first rectangle which is half the size in width and height of our canvas size. Create a new layer, then right click. We want to have a fill for it. Let me use red. And I click on OK. So now you can use that method to fill the other rectangles or you can just use the move tool, hold alt and shift and then create three more. Let me give it a different color each I use the paint bucket tool G for that. The last one, let me make it green. So that's the basics we want to have. Now we create our first frame, use the marquee tool again. Create a new layer once more. Then right click and this time you want to have strokes selected. We'll give it a white color and a width of 15 pixels is fine for this canvas size. Make sure you've got inside selected, outside you won't see it and center would cut it in half. So now the 15 pixel, they all go to the inside. This is what we want. We create two more frames for the center positions and we use the rectangle tool for that. Simply left click, give it 15 for the width and 1080 for the height, as you can see they are positioned at the center of the guidelines. And the second one it's 1920 and the height has 15 pixels. I'll reposition that to the center position as well. And that's fine. Let me merge these layers. I simply hold shift, select them all and then I press Ctrl E. All of the layers are now merged to a layer I'll call frame. Now we want to add the sense element, which is a circle, so I use the ellipse tool for that. Let us go up to the top menu, I'll change the fill. Let me use an orange color and a white stroke, and the stroke size should be 15 pixels. Go to the center and hold shift so that we have a circle. And that's fine. You can now see, let me press Ctrl A to select it all and use the top menu to make sure that it's in the center. It is. And you can see the frame is behind the circle. So make sure that you've got your layer stacked in the right order. All right, the last step is to add the photos. So let me make that visible again. And I add them photo by photo. And I always give it a clipping mask. First one for the red. You can see it is now only visible in the red area. And when I press Ctrl T, I can resize that within this part of the collage. Second one once more. Right now it doesn't have a clipping mask, but when I create it, so right click create clipping mask, it's only in the blue section of the collage visible. I use the move tool to move that around. Press V, that's the short key for that. And when I think I should resize it, I always press Ctrl T once more. And I hold Shift when I resize that so that it keeps the proportions.
and the final one is for the ellipse so it's the same procedure I'll put it on top of the ellipse then right click create a clipping mask and then I press V for the move tool and I move it around and that's it this is how you can create such a wedding collage in Adobe Photoshop thank you for watching and I'll see you next time